Hey there everybody, so today I'm going to be entering my Petite Cakes contest, and our objective for this was to make one figurine, and to illustrate our favorite holiday, and then our favorite part of that holiday. So, Halloween was a very close runner-up, but Halloween's always different, Christmas is always the same, and I love it um, all the more every year. And um, it's when we all gather around the fireplace right after Thanksgiving and start setting everything up. Um, just a little bit of background as to why there's so many pets in this. Um, my husband and I have five dogs and we have two cats. So um, we actually have four cats, but I couldn't find any other Sandex cats. So the characters that are going to be illustrating us in this will be... Rilakkuma and Kirilakuma as me and my husband. And then there's going to be Kiritori, Burro Burro Dog, Berry Puppy, Awaken, Taromi, Homikoro, and then there's also Nyan Nyanko and Kotosito Nyanko. I can't pronounce that, I'm sorry. <laughs> Never able to. Um, and this uh, figurine is a mini sort of replica of our living room and the stuff we have in it. So, I really hope you enjoy this. So here is the first overview of the figurine. And to show you how big this figurine is, there is a block of regular Primo Sculpey. So, everyone knows about how big that is. And then, um, just to show you guys like the size of some of the characters, I'm going to be using one of the earring stud backs, which hopefully most of you know about how big that is. Okay, so I'm going to start over here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, I'm, gonna just, I'm just going to move the camera. <laughs> over here is the fireplace. And, oh, there's a fingerprint. Oh, well. But you can see the little stockings. I used TLS for the fireplace, well the fire, and then all of this is textured clay. This is the Burro Burro dog. He's actually curly, but I didn't make him curly, but I did make um, the berry puppy curly. So two of our dogs are, when the fire's lit, are so close to it they should be burning, but they lay that close all the time. And the fire is, you know, lit on the logs. At least I tried to make it look like it. And I tried to texture everything to make it look a little bit more realistic. And all of this is hand done detail. No molds or anything. Over here is our Christmas tree. The star glows in the dark. And there is ornaments and garland and glitter. And there is Ewokin over here with some gifts and the bows. And then there's, we have this box that we keep our stuff in that is crazy old. And it's just filled with ornaments. So I tried to make the box look aged. Over here is Kurilakuma and Rilakuma. As my husband and me. And here's our couch. There's the Cosito Nyanko. Or however you say it. Looking at... And Yan Yan Yanko, because he's sleeping under the couch. Our two two of our cats are rivalry over who gets to sit next to the human, so that's why I did it like that. And this is what our couch looks like, minus the throw pillows. Over here is a doggy bed with a rope toy, a curatory toy, and a little ball. This is what our rug looks like. I tried to texture it to make it look like a rug. And that's the Homi Koro, or whatever, I can't pronounce it. Playing with the little ball on the rug. And over here is the Tarumi bulldog character, which I love and he's adorable. And then um, <clears throat> he's got a little Rilakkuma toy, which I'll go back around and show you how big everything is. And there's Christmas lights, and I have these two really big um, glittery flowers that sit on, or clip to our curtains, which I tried to paint there, and some white garland. 
Okay, I'm going to go back around here real quick and show you the size. So this is the earring backing. That's next to the Burrow Burrow Dog. The Berry Puppy. And one last look at the fireplace. Turn it around to a walk-in. Christmas tree. Presents, bows, a walk-in box. Rillacuma and Kurillacuma. Kitties. Ah, sorry. Um, the homie Koro. The toy and the bird and the bulldog. Kiratori. Which the bed, you know, and the little yin yin. Alright, so, I'm sorry for shaking the camera, I gotta hold it. Um, here's an, just a quick overview of the figurine. It's very small, I didn't really, I really didn't think about how small the characters were gonna have to be to make this look any sort of realistic. When I made it this size, you can't have like a gigantic Rolokuma sitting there with. So. I really hope you enjoyed this contest entry. And I wish the best of luck to everyone else who enters. And I hope you enjoyed my contest entry as well. Bye guys.